Hello, in this video, I would like to present you TensorFlow optimization techniques. So you can take any function and using TensorFlow optimizers, you can optimize them. Let's see the contents we're going to see today. We will import required packages first, then we define a helper function to visualize the learning curves. And then we see what are the TensorFlow optimizers available with the TensorFlow package. So let's get started. Okay, so import required packages. We're going to import TensorFlow and NumPy Matplotlib. TensorFlow is for optimization and NumPy and Matplotlib for general operations like uh, array operations and visualizations. Then we define a helper function to visualize the learning curves. We're going to take inputs as the x1 parameter, x2 parameter and the cost function and we're going to plot them. So what are the different TensorFlow optimizers? So if you see the TensorFlow documentation page, you will find different optimizers in tf.train class. So you can use any one of them for your tasks. So they have their specialties. Usually you can start with gradient descent optimizers and then you can go further based on your requirements to momentum optimizers or atom optimizer so on and so forth and how to use them in your program. So you can import any one of those optimizers by using these lines of code. A single line is sufficient but you have to pass the learning rate as a parameter for this object okay so that is a mandatory and then you will minimize on the objective function after that for optimization we will see an example so we we define the variables and we define the cost function first by using these lines of code so tf.variable is a function we use to define a variable and we have to specify an initial value where you want to start okay so I initialize the x1 with 4 and uh, data type is float 32 and the best practice here is naming the variable so you can name by the parameter name is equal to x1 okay that way it is good practice to follow and uh, similarly we define x2 with initial value minus 2 and then we define the cost function. Cost function here is j is equals to 40 minus x1 squared plus x2 squared. So here the cost function aims to find maximum value in the vicinity of x1 and x2. Here our aim is to maximize this cost function. Define an optimizer using TensorFlow. Okay, so you can define an optimizer as shown above tf.train.atom optimizer and the learning rate is equals to 1 so this is a bit aggressive I suggest you to follow 0.01 or 0.001 as the initial step so you can do try experiments with this so now you got an optimizer object and you are minimizing the cost function here our aim is to maximize this cost function so the negative operand here okay so that is your training operation now create an interactive session by using these lines session is equals tf dot interactive session will create an interactive session and this variable is to initialize all the variables tf dot global variable initializer now initialize variables and start optimizing for n iterations so you can define the parameter n iteration so that the function will run over and over for those many times and this session to run will initialize the variables the x1 and x2 values to 4 and minus 2 and then in the range of an iteration that means 0 to 100 we are iterating this training operation okay so the session dot run training op will take the cost function and keep on optimizing it for 100 iterations and each of the x1 x2 and the cost values are storing into x1 x2 c list 
after these 100 iterations we're gonna see the result as after 100 iterations the cost is at 39.99 it's almost equal to 40 the parameters are at x1 is equal to 0 0.01 and x2 is 0 0.008 so if you see the curve learning curve so the blue line represents x1 green line represents x2 and the red line represents the cost okay so we started somewhere here with x2 minus 2 and uh, it, we can see some fluctuations because of the learning rate okay and then x1 started here and goes down up and down so there are a lot of fluctuations instability even in the cost function after a few iterations like after 40 so the cost function got stabilized okay let's see in the live notebook changing few hyperparameters and optimizers to see different visualizations and learnings okay previously we see atom optimizers in the slide and we are now change this optimizer to gradient descent optimizer with very very low learning rate let's see what happened initial insertion and uh, see so it's learning very slowly it didn't even reach to the point that we are trying to so if you change iterations see the change okay so as we are learning very slowly it took more number of iterations to reach the optimum point and you can change this optimizer here to any others and try them see here in this case it didn't suffice the thousand iterations as well so if you go for two thousand iterations then still it's trying to go to the optimum value and if I change the learning rate here now what happened let's see if as I change the learning rate it has reached the optimum value around 400 okay so 400 iterations are enough if you change this optimization learning rate so I hope that helps and you can do a lot of other experimentations and let me know your findings in the comments below I'll post the link for this notebook in the description okay that's all for today I hope you like the video please do like share subscribe with your friends thank you